Question number one for the lightning round. The eclipse happened this week. Uh, I want to know, would you prefer to celebrate the eclipse with Bonnie Tyler's total eclipse of the heart or Soundgarden's black hole sun? Oh, not even close. This is like the total eclipse of the heart all the way. I mean, <laughs> that was my jam when DJ big, big fun DJ at Stanford would come and play there. We had a DJ that would do all the, all the, all the dorm fun. parties it was called big fun. It had a shirt that just said big fun, which I of course had like seven of them. And yeah, Total Eclipse of the Heart was always the jam whenever it would come on. It was great. It was awesome. You're probably Black Hole Sun, though, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. God. Yeah. All right. Such a good song. National Burrito Day was Thursday, April 4th. You know, this is a topic that's near and dear to my heart. And yes. as of right now, what do you think is the number one way that you can screw up a burrito? I ate a lot of burritos last week in California, and I determined that excess starch, you should not have too many potatoes or too many, too much rice. Yep. It just makes your mouth dry and it eliminates all of the other flavors that are marrying together. So get rid of all the potatoes, get rid of all the rice and we're good to go. Yep. A hundred percent. I discovered a new one too, but I'll tell you what that one is after the show. Oh God. Okay. I'm, I'm nervous about that. Um, okay. Chris, JC Penny opened their first new store in eight years recently. If you had to shop at JC Penny right now for something, what would you buy? Uh, probably still home furnishings. I thought I was, I was, okay. always thought JC Penny had decent true. home furnishings, especially like on the linen side of things, um, oh. it, it towels and linens. So I'd probably go there for that. All right. All right last the, one. The, it's, what is that? Wasn't it Lionel Richie's line? You you're going to get Lionel Richie's like home oh, decor bedding well, and stuff. Did they have it. Is, was he at JCP? I don't remember. Was he? Yeah. I so, but maybe I'm wrong. The most, one of the best best conversations i've ever heard at a retail conference was lionel richie you know saying oh, that's right. life life begins at the edge of your comfort zone that was so profound i that's it's really true i've thought about that a lot ever since he said it all right last one an instacart driver reportedly shot and killed angie Harmon's dog recently what? yeah this is a true story uh and, and it made me think exactly of you because what has what has been your most what has oh been your God. worst gig driver experience of late I know you've uh, had one. Yeah. Well, I alluded to it earlier, but I had a Lyft driver taking us to the airport who was just stalled out. And then I called because we started running late for our flight and he was in the bathroom of a gas station, just telling me that he needed five more minutes, which has never happened to me before. Um, and then proceeded to pick us up 25 minutes late and left my suitcase in the middle of the street, did not put the suitcase in the car. So I had got to the airport running late, no time to go back and get the suitcase. Worst gig driver experience of my life. Although then when we got to California, we had the same DoorDash driver, delivery driver, two nights in a row, delivered our stuff to the wrong house both times. And I actually like physically talked to him. I walked out and was like, we're actually oh this house here, came the second night, delivered it to the wrong house again. So oh my I've, God. Not, I've been on a roll of bad, uh, bad oh my God. experiences lately. Yeah. And that is truly, truly a crappy experience. All right. Happy birthday today to Mandy Moore, Haley Joel Osment, and to the man who once played Stingo in Sophie's Choice, the great Peter McNichol. And remember, if you can only read or listen to one retail blog in the business, make it OmniTalk, the only retail media outlet run by two former executives from a current top 10 U.S. retailer. Our Fast Five podcast is the quickest, fastest rundown of all the week's top news. In our daily newsletter, the Retail Daily Minute tells you all you need to know each day to stay on top of your game as a retail executive and also features special content that is exclusive to us and that Ann and I take pride in doing just for you. Thanks as always for listening in. Please remember to like and leave us a review wherever you happen to listen to your podcasts or on YouTube. You can follow us today by simply going to youtube.com slash Retail. So until next week, and on behalf of all of us at OmniTalk Retail, as always, be careful out there.